And good morning everyone, welcome back to another very traditional Unplugged TV episode on Unplugged TV. I'm confused. I didn't say this for a while, right? But I know you are... I know you like this very traditional and old school intro with the music and the long intro and me putting my bag in the bag and then disconnecting the charger. You know, you don't like changes. I know that. I tell you what, the intro of this channel is like a zombie. You cannot kill it and it comes back all the time. <sighs> well, this morning 13 degrees, middle of winter cloudy sky as you can see everything is brown outside dry as the desert haven't had rain for months now typical winter all right so what is new with the PHEV well it is day number seven after the last drop of capacity and as you have seen this morning we are still on on 37.9 uh, ampere hours I'm expecting a drop maybe tomorrow or Friday down to 37.8 every 9 to 10 days I have a drop with a new battery and the correctly calibrated BMU by Mitsubishi Motors no procedures, no self-made, no do-it-yourself procedures done. This is all done by Mitsubishi. And I will keep it this way, definitely. This intersection here is Wild West. There are so many accidents here, it's so dangerous. They should really close this one off, really. There's no acceleration lane. People are standing in the middle of the two lanes waiting for the traffic on the other side. It's so dangerous. Not good, not good. Well guys, on the positive side of things, um, I've got heaps of feedback, um, as you have seen in the comments on my videos, from people having successfully carried out the Lindquist method uh, one of the guys um, Alexander Alex I call him Alex uh, he wrote something in German I'll try to translate this for you so basically he did the Lindquist method everything went just fine to 38 ampere hours so then he drove the car when he reached 27 percent state of charge the engine kicked in as usually and then the engine turned off again and the car didn't have power so there was a power loss he said there was no performance when he pressed the accelerator it felt sluggish the engine kicked in just for a moment just to turn off again and everything was just not working correctly anymore he could start the engine with the charge button or the save button and everything was fine but it wasn't an automatic um, setup anymore so and he was asking me if I know anything about this behavior and I said I've never heard this before I've never read about this before from anyone else anywhere so he recharged the car again and did another test drive and everything was fine again I don't know what what was happening but obviously the BMU was totally confused and didn't start the engine correctly turned it off immediately again so there was a little bit of um, yeah of a problem ah, and they had a dashboard notification as well a dashboard message saying um, reduced performance of the engine of the system so yeah obviously the BMU was still con confused <laughs> from this uh, Lindquist method Look at the beauty. There's a big arrow pointing to the left and they're all driving on the right. And then they're squeezing in, slowing everyone down. Yeah, so he was asking me to uh, just inform you about this um, problem. So you're aware that something strange, something weird could happen after the Lindquist. 
and just keep going using the car charging discharging and make sure everything is working correctly then and um, yeah if you come across uh, these things leave a comment down below let us know what is happening after your lit quest all right guys um special episode today because I'm standing here almost in the traffic in the construction side special episode today tonight when I come home I will show you what is in the suitcase but guys don't get mad on me don't be disappointed it is not what you will expect probably it is oh well very slow traffic here it looks like this will take another 16 years or something until they are ready Arrived at work with 76%, uh, 29 ampere hours still, and 35 kilometers on the GOM. Hey yeah, guys, um, I actually wanted to show you what's in the suitcase tonight, but there is some other news coming up, which I quickly put into this video here, just to keep you informed. I should put on the dog here. I can't drive without the dog, Andy. You cannot do that! Plus 0.5 ampere hours while parking, instead of charge, of course. Um, so the exciting news is we've got a new method. Lindquist was yesterday, was this morning actually, and we now have a D method, D for Delta, D method. And there is so far no name behind it, it's just the Dublin method so someone in Ireland in Dublin figured it out he figured it out 40 ampere hours with a uh, kind of Lindquist method but he we now we now have confirmed that it is actually a problem with the 12 volt battery the 12 volt battery needs to be on a special state to make this all working it is not enough to disconnect the 12 volt battery and wait until the BMU is discharged. That was, that was kind of working, but um, the DE method requires the 12 volt battery to be low, low on charge. The auxiliary battery needs to be low on charge between six, seven, eight volts around. So what people do, they turn on the car so electric steering wheel, seat heater, wipers, all kind of 12 volt um, load on the 12 volt battery, on the auxiliary battery and bringing the charge of the auxiliary battery down to about between say 7 volts. Once this is done, you're getting all kind of error messages on the car. The, the whole BMU, the whole ECU, everything plays up because the voltage is so low on the system. And then you follow the Lindquist a little bit, so you disconnect the 12 volt battery, plug in the charger, connect the 12 volt battery back, and this is just enough voltage to start the charging. Once the charging starts, disconnect the 12 volt battery, let it charge for a 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes, and you're done. I think you can just uh, disconnect the charger then. And once you connect the 12 volt battery back, the dog will show you 40 ampere hours, a full reset, a full calibration to 40 ampere hours. Not 38, 40. And apparently it doesn't matter if the drive battery is charged or not charged, you don't have to deplete the battery. Uh, people have tried with almost full batteries. It only needs an initial charge for a couple of minutes and then it's good. And um, well, yeah, I don't know, this seems to work somehow. Um, not sure, we will see in the next couple of days. I think this just came out uh, last night, so it's brand new. And for all of you guys who don't have Facebook, you'll get the news from this channel here. We have to wait until we get more information, of course, until more people have done it and uh, we get some more feedback. But it sounds promising. And I'll tell you what. There will be an F and a Q and an S and a W method as well afterwards. People will keep working on this to refine it, to make it work every single time. 
as I said many weeks before, this is the nature of humans to find a solution for the problem. If the manufacturer doesn't help, people will find out. Lindquist was the start, was a good start. Many people had success. Now we've got the Dublin method and who knows what's coming next. <laughs> it will be interesting to see. Okay guys, so far this update from uh, tonight, this afternoon, I'll keep you informed of course and I'll make a full list of what you have to do in the next video. Ah, in the next video I wanted to show you what's in the suitcase. Okay, we have to postpone this again then. Ah, bugger. All right, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and drive electric and we will see us again in the next video soon. All right, see you then. Bye bye. What an amazing car, so many features. <laughs>